Welcome to the cosmos through our lens. Today, we're on the brink of a groundbreaking revelation that reshapes our understanding of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced eye in the sky, has delivered its first real image of galaxies existing before the Big Bang. This moment is not just historic, it's a leap into the mysteries that have puzzled astronomers for decades. So let's dive into this cosmic journey and unravel the secrets of the early universe together. In an extraordinary revelation, the James Webb Space Telescope has just disclosed an image showcasing not just one or two, but 20 galaxies intertwined in what can only be described as a cosmic vine. Astonishingly, these galaxies are from a period predating the Big Bang itself. Imagine the secrets that these ancient cosmic structures hold. This discovery poses the question, are we on the cusp of rewriting the history of the universe, which dates back 13? Eight billion years to the monumental Big Bang event? Everyone is familiar with the Big Bang, the colossal explosion that marked the beginning of everything. However, there's ongoing debate about the Big Bang's occurrence, but let's agree to simmer down that volatile discussion for the time being. This massive explosion is credited with bringing everything into existence. But the mystery of what triggered this immense detonation, what happened in those initial moments, and when the stars first illuminated the cosmos remains, to uncover these answers, we must venture back to the dawn of the universe, to a fleeting moment known as the inflationary period. The universe's inception happened on scales far beyond minuscule, smaller than any subatomic particles we're familiar with, transforming itself in an inconceivably short span of time. Operating on a timescale beyond our current observational capabilities, the early universe was a realm of unimaginable densities and temperatures, exceeding anything we experience in today's universe. Scientists from the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian chose the South Pole, one of the most isolated observing locations on Earth, for its minimal water vapor ideal for studying the cosmic microwave background, CMB. This faint radiation glow offers insights into the universe's infancy. Using sophisticated instruments like BICEP-3, CARE, and the South Pole Telescope, researchers aim to detect early universe inflation signs within the CMB. Capture hydrogen signals from just after the cosmic dark age, less than 100 million years post Big Bang. This research targets signals from a period when the universe was less than 1% of its current age, searching for traces of cosmic infancy that are exceptionally weak. This research holds the promise of revealing the mysteries behind the formation of the universe's first large-scale structures, stars, and black holes, complementing LITA's exploration of the cosmic dark age. Scientists at the CFA Institute for Theory and Computation are delving into simulations of the early universe. They aim to understand the genesis of the first stars, envisioning a universe where dark matter congregates, drawing vast hydrogen clouds together. These clouds, once massive enough, experienced the force of gravity, heating up and compressing until the first stars were sparked to life. It's captivating to contemplate the emergence of these cosmic beacons. Simulations indicate these pioneering stars were giants, dwarfing our sun by hundreds of times and burning through their fuel at a staggering pace, often culminating in a dramatic supernova and, occasionally, leaving a black hole in their wake. Studying the early universe goes beyond mere curiosity. It offers profound insights into the origins of everything, including ourselves. The scientists at the Center for Astrophysics lead this cosmic journey pushing the boundaries of our understanding. In an incredibly brief moment, a billionth of a trillionth of a trillionth of a second, the universe underwent an exponential expansion, increasing in size by a factor of 1, 0, 26, 10, 26. To put this into perspective, imagine a single bacterium expanding to the size of the Milky Way galaxy. This dramatic growth during the inflationary period allowed quantum fluctuations at the subatomic level to scale up to cosmic magnitudes, creating variations in matter density that served as the foundation for the universe's structure. 
As the universe expanded, the hot plasma of subatomic particles began to cool, leading to the formation of the first atoms, primarily hydrogen. This cooling allowed light to travel freely for the first time, resulting in the cosmic microwave background. See MB, a faint glow that fills the universe to this day. The CMB provides invaluable insights into the inflationary phase, offering a glimpse into the universe's earliest moments. Scientists at the Center for Astrophysics are dedicated to unraveling these mysteries, using telescopes like BIC EP3 to study the intricate features of this ancient radiation. Although the inflationary model is widely accepted, alternative theories exist. Some suggest the Big Bang might not have been a singular event, but rather the outcome of a cyclical process, such as a bounce following a big crunch where the universe contracts. Researchers at the Institute for Theory and Computation are exploring innovative approaches to test these theories, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of cosmic origins. Which theory accurately describes our universe's beginnings is still up for debate. Now let's delve into the cosmic dark ages. After the universe cooled sufficiently for atoms to form, what was once a blazing luminous expanse became cold and dark. Gravity then began to accentuate minor variations in the distribution of gas, creating voids and massive hydrogen clouds. As these clouds fell under gravity's influence, they collapsed, heralding the birth of stars. Scientists speculate that these early stars differed significantly from those we observe today. They were larger, burned more briefly, and likely left numerous black holes in their wake. Direct evidence from this era remains elusive, presenting a substantial challenge for scientists and marking a literal and metaphorical dark age. To shed light on this enigmatic period, the Center for Astrophysics launched the Large Aperture Experiment to Detect the Dark Ages LADA. However, the foundational understanding of our universe's origins may be on the brink of a paradigm shift. Eric J. Lerner, a scientist with LPP Fusion, has introduced a provocative hypothesis in his latest research, challenging the widely accepted Big Bang Theory. Lerner suggests that the universe's beginnings might diverge significantly from conventional teachings. His assertions, stemming from nuclear fusion research, invite a reevaluation of the cosmic genesis narrative. In his argument, Lerner zeroes in on three pivotal nuclear fusion processes believed to have taken place during the Big Bang, processes that were crucial for the formation of helium, deuterium, and lithium. Leveraging observations spanning decades, Lerner contends that the observed quantities of helium and lithium in ancient stars do not match the predictions made by Big Bang nucleosynthesis theory. This theory posits that helium should constitute a quarter of the universe's mass. However, Lerner points out that ancient stars contain less than half the helium and less than a tenth of the lithium predicted by the theory. He goes further to assert that neither helium nor lithium existed before the formation of the galaxy's earliest stars, raising profound questions about the accuracy of our current understanding of the universe's infancy. Lerner also critiques the mainstream dismissal of significant challenges to the Big Bang theory, such as the issues surrounding a closed universe, the Hubble constant, and the elusive evidence for dark matter. He suggests that these challenges warrant a serious reevaluation of the foundations of modern cosmology. According to Lerner, a glaring issue with the Big Bang theory is its inability to account for the anticipated annihilation of matter and antimatter, which would leave a matter density at odds with observations. Lerner's critique extends to the requirement within the Big Bang theory for an asymmetry between matter and antimatter to prevent their mutual annihilation. This theory suggests phenomena such as proton decay, for which there is no experimental evidence, raising doubts about the theory's validity. This prompts the question, are we too attached to a theory that may be fundamentally incorrect? He also scrutinizes another aspect of the Big Bang theory related to galactic expansion. According to the theory, as the universe expands, the surface brightness of distant galaxies should decrease over time. Yet Lerner argues, there's a lack of evidence to support this prediction. 
the cornerstone of Lerner's alternative theory, the galactic origin of light elements, GOLA suggests that the first generation of stars, which were 4 to 12 times the mass of our Sun, produced helium, deuterium, and lithium. These stars, burning hydrogen more rapidly than our Sun, spread these elements throughout the universe via stellar winds. Lerner presents that observations of newly formed, more luminous galaxies corroborate the GOLE model more accurately than the Big Bang model. Despite Lerner's compelling arguments, it's crucial to acknowledge the spectrum of opinions within the scientific community, recognizing that not all researchers align with his perspective. Not everyone in the scientific community is poised to accept Lerner's theories. A physics and astronomy professor based in Los Angeles, Vajapirian, challenges many of Lerner's assertions, highlighting that the cosmic microwave background, CMB radiation evidence of the Big Bang, remains a cornerstone of cosmological theory. Perian questions the strength of Lerner's claims, suggesting that if they were as compelling as proposed, a broader segment of the scientific community would likely express doubts about the Big Bang theory. Perian references the critique by astrophysicist Edward L. Wright of Lerner's 1991 book, viewing it as part of a broader scientific consensus that disputes Lerner's theories. Wright, a former professor at the University of California, Los Angeles, counters Lerner's points on the non-existence of dark matter and the alleged discrepancies in helium levels. He points out that stars contributing helium to the interstellar medium also emit a significant amount of heavier elements. Further undermining Lerner's position, recent NASA findings affirm the presence of dark matter, a crucial aspect disputed by Lerner. Astronomers utilizing NASA's Hubble Space Telescope have validated a key prediction of the cold dark matter theory, indicating that galaxies are formed and enveloped within dark matter clouds. The scientific community remains split over Lerner's propositions, with some casting doubt on the credibility of his arguments, while others see value in his alternative hypothesis. This division underscores the dynamic nature of science, its capacity for evolution, adaptation, and the incorporation of novel ideas. Lerner's challenge to the Big Bang Theory enriches the scientific discourse, encouraging us to question, explore, and deepen our understanding of the universe's origins. The question at hand is whether we are on the cusp of a scientific revolution or if the Big Bang Theory will withstand scrutiny over time. Only future research and further daring inquiries will uncover the truths behind these cosmic mysteries. Yet, there's more intriguing speculation to consider. Rather than a singular cataclysmic Big Bang marking the universe's inception billions of years ago, some scientists are now contemplating a second, transformative event, a dark Big Bang potentially pivotal for understanding dark matter. Constituting roughly 27% of the known universe, dark matter's elusive nature it does not interact with light or electromagnetic fields in observable ways has long puzzled astronomers. Observations of galaxy, clusters moving in unexpected patterns, challenging the predictions of our current standard model of physics, have led to the hypothesis of invisible matter's existence, despite the absence of direct evidence. In our quest to understand the cosmos, the enigma of dark matter persists, despite exhaustive research efforts. But what if the universe's birth wasn't marked by a single cataclysmic event, but rather two? Imagine a scenario where, in the universe's infancy, less than a month after its inception, a dark Big Bang unfolded, birthing dark matter in ways previously unimagined. Catherine Free, a physics professor at the University of Texas at Austin, along with her team, has put forward this captivating hypothesis in a paper awaiting peer review. Free's theory challenges the conventional view, suggesting that the universe might have experienced multiple phase transitions, each gradually manifesting elements of our cosmos, from visible matter to the elusive dark matter. This concept represents a significant shift from the widely accepted notion of a singular Big Bang event. According to Free's theory, this cosmic event could have occurred when the universe was barely a month old, positing an early universe phase that could have spawned a diverse array of dark matter particles. 
Among these hypothetical particles are dark zillas, massive entities weighing 10 trillion times more than a proton. However, what if this dark Big Bang was not an explosive event, but a more gradual unfolding process? Such a scenario might have led to the creation of lighter forms of dark matter, adding complexity to our understanding of how the universe and its mysterious components came into being. Among the intriguing concepts, Freeze theory introduces are dark cannibals, particles that absorb one another through collisions. These particles bear resemblance to one of the long-standing dark matter candidates known to astronomers as weakly interacting massive particles, WIMPs. Free is hopeful that the study of gravitational waves distortions in the fabric of space-time could shed light on her dark Big Bang hypothesis, rather than envisioning a single cataclysmic event. Cosmologists are now considering the potential of multiple phase transitions that have sculpted the universe over epochs. By analyzing the perturbations and signals emitted by pulsars, highly magnetized, rotating neutron stars, scientists aim to trace the origins of gravitational waves. This theory, however, raises numerous questions. Might there exist multiple modes through which the universe came to be? Is it possible that our present understanding of the cosmos represents merely a fragment of a much vaster, intricate puzzle? Free's research marks a new boundary in the field of cosmology, challenging us to reconsider established narratives and delve into mysteries that extend far beyond our current knowledge. The concept of a dark Big Bang encourages us to view the universe not as a static backdrop, but as a dynamic, continuously evolving entity shaped by a series of transformative events. The enduring question that has fascinated scientists for decades is the timing of star and galaxy formation following the universe's inception. The James Webb Space Telescope is now shedding light on these ancient mysteries. Equipped to detect light that has shifted over eons, the telescope enables astronomers to journey back through the cosmic timeline and uncover the universe's nascent stages. The early returns from the telescope are promising, sparking a competitive search among astronomers to identify the most remote galaxies yet seen. A recent landmark study highlighted a group of distant galaxies, revealing one that appears larger than our Milky Way, a mere 700 million years after the Big Bang. This discovery calls into question our previous assumptions about the early universe's evolution. But what methodologies do scientists employ to unearth these findings, and how do they enhance our understanding of the cosmos? The approach to studying these primordial galaxies is straightforward yet brilliant. The universe's earliest stars and galaxies were enshrouded by hydrogen atoms capable of absorbing specific ultraviolet UV light wavelength. This absorption process imprints a unique signature on the light these celestial bodies emit allowing astronomers to trace back to the universe's earliest epochs. Welcome to Blessovia Science TV, where we take you on an exhilarating journey through the cosmos and unravel the mysteries of science. We are excited to offer you the opportunity to become a valued member of our ever-growing community of cosmic enthusiasts and knowledge seekers. Exclusive access to cosmic content. As a member of Blessovia Science TV, you will gain exclusive access to a treasure trove of cosmic content, including documentaries, interviews with leading scientists, space missions updates, and awe-inspiring visualizations of the universe, live Q, and a sessions with experts. Your membership will grant you the chance to participate in live Q and a sessions with renowned scientists, astronomers, and space explorers. Get your burning questions answered by those who push the boundaries of human knowledge. Embark on a journey that spans the cosmos and join us in unraveling the secrets of the universe. Become a Blasovia Science TV member today and together we will reach for the stars. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, and share. Don't forget to leave your comment.